Hi there, it's Danny from Little Gems TV again, which is littlegemsrockshop.co.uk. Today I'm just going to show you a couple of pieces of citrine. There's sometimes a bit of confusion in citrine between what is natural and what isn't. Of course, all these pieces shown here have as a crystalline structure formed naturally. But what's actually happened, some of these pieces, the colour has been changed by man, and some it hasn't. To explain fully, citrine forms when this mineral in my hand here, amethyst, gets heated up. Now this can occur naturally, for instance if the amethyst when it's first formed is near another volcanic intrusion, the volcanic rocks can heat it up and cook it. So citrine is really cooked amethyst. Now this occurs quite rarely in nature and that's why natural citrine which are these three specimens here to the left just to the left of my hand these are all natural citrine. Now you can see they have a kind of quite a strawy colour quite pale compared to the burnt citrine but it's not always quite so easy to identify it because this is a natural citrine this is a burnt citrine as you can see the ones above are actually quite light and strawy too natural citrine tends to occur more in points and polished points as a rough rule and burnt citrine tends to occur more as clusters but large points as well. Now just to give you an idea of the prices of these pieces here, this natural citrine point, polished point is £60, which is gorgeous. Don't panic of course if, um, if you don't watch this video straight away and these pieces are gone, but if you do just mention it to us. These two natural citrine points at the top is £20 on the left and £15 on the right. To give you an idea of a burnt citrine pieces this large point is £19. This cluster which is just fantastic in its clarity and its colour This lovely piece is actually double sided as you can see. That's sixty pounds. On the top this stalactitic citrine is forty five. But we've got lots of other specimen pieces. I think this one was about five. Lots of other specimen pieces at littlegemsrockshop.co.uk in terms of what citrine is actually used for, uh, in terms of crystal healers often use it, it's, crystal healers will often use it for things like seasonal affective disorder, depression, although of course we always recommend you consult a specialist in the medical field first, but um, in addition to that it's also stone which is used for abundance. It's always used, been known as a merchant stone um, to help bring posterity. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll watch some others soon. Thank you. Bye.